Hello and welcome here as a Blancpain manufacturer in Le Brassu. We are here today to continue our exploration of precision in watchmaking. We are going to explore in detail two special mechanisms that has been invented to improve the precision of the movement. I am speaking about the tourbillon and its more discreet cousin, the carousel. The tourbillon was invented in 1796 by one of the giants of watchmaking, Abraham Louis Breguet. During his time, the quest for precision was an international technical challenge. Breguet was a close friend of English watchmaker John Arnold, another legend of watchmaking history. For that reason, the Parisian watchmaker added his very first tourbillon into one of Arnold's movements. Arnold has had a big influence on chronometry too. In particular, he invented the overcoil and the détente escapement, which enabled the creation of the first chronometer. While the word chronometer originally referred to any device that measures time, since then it has come to mean an extremely precise clock or watch. So what are tourbillons and carousels and how do they work? Firstly, tourbillon and carousel exist only in mechanical watch movements. Both the tourbillon and carousel turn the escapement around its own axis within a determined period of time. The aim is to average all the positional errors by having it continuously rotate 360 degrees. The escapement is a delicate assembly of parts inside the movement. It is responsible for a watch's precision by controlling the release of energy provided by the spring barrel. Among the various components of the escapement, one has a significant impact on the chronometry, the balance wheel. As you may know, a ring or a wheel is never perfectly balanced throughout its entire circumference. There is always a heavy or light spot because of imperceptible variation in the form and mass. In Breguet's day, watches referred to pocket watches, which generally remain in the vertical position, like in a gentleman's fog. This means that gravity would influence the way the balance wheel moves. Breguet's idea was to average the impact by making the whole escapement revolve around itself. He did this by putting the escapement inside a round wheel called a tourbillon cage. Tourbillon means whirlwind in French. By rotating the escapement, all positional errors are average. The carousel follows the same objective. Barney Bonixson, a Danish watchmaker living in London, invented it in 1892. The difference between this and the tourbillon is that in the tourbillon the carriage is linked to the mainspring barrel via a single gear train. The carousel, on the other hand, is connected to the mainspring barrel by two gear trains, one delivering energy to the escapement, the other regulating the rotational speed of the carriage. Because of its more complex construction, the carousel is more intricate and difficult to make and regulate. But the advantage of the carousel is that you can stop the cage and the watch will continue to run, which is impossible with a tourbillon. Very often, tourbillon and carousels are described as complication, but this is not exactly true, because they do not add a function or indication to the watch. But they can be considered complications thanks to their very high level of complexity in the scales needed to manufacture and adjust them. And that's why we prefer to call them very often special or complex mechanism. Today they are considered as rock stars in high-end watchmaking. The constant motion and changing form of tourbillons and carousels are very much appreciated by enthusiasts who enjoy their perpetual kinetic show. But are tourbillons still useful today as most timekeepers are no longer pocket watches sitting vertically but constantly moving wristwatches with huge technical improvements since Breguet's day? Well, actually they are. If you consider the results of the relaunch international chronometry competition in 2009, which is technically the most difficult contest in this field at the moment, tourbillon watches have regularly won it and hold the record for precision. 